our world cinema presentation is The Shadow Warrior. He's been diagnosed with leukemia. I'm here in Vancouver for medical treatment. That's very frustrating. Will the Rainmaker live to see a lifetime's ambition fulfilled? Horizon, Thursday, 9.30 on BBC Two. A very warm welcome to BBC Two on this Monday morning, if you've just joined us, where it's time now for See Here Breakfast News. Good morning and welcome to the BBC's Breakfast News with Sophie Rayworth and Jeremy Bowen. Good morning. The main story, Sinn Féin wants to see if it will be expelled from the Northern Ireland peace talks. The party's leaders warn of dangerous consequences if uh, the party is kept out of the next round of negotiations starting in Dublin. New guidelines for teachers on dealing with violent children. And a relaunch for the Conservatives. William Hague promises the most dramatic changes this century. Also in the programme, following in the footsteps of the greats, Darcy Bustle conquers the Kirov. And Isabel Lang is here with... Uh... Well, Isabel Lang is definitely now here with the weather. Thanks, Isabel. Jeremy. Good morning to you and a gorgeous weekend in the south, but a colder day for us all today with quite a strong wind. In fact, those winds gusting in excess of 50, 60 miles an hour across northern parts of the British Isles. But I'll give you more details later. Back to you two. British and Irish governments will consider today whether Sinn Féin should be expelled from the latest stage of the multi-party talks on Northern Ireland. This morning, for the first time, the talks are moving to Dublin. Unionist and loyalist politicians are demanding that Sinn Féin should be thrown out after the police blamed the IRA for two murders last week in Belfast. Sinn Féin is warning that if it's excluded from the talks, it might never be able to return. Dublin Castle was the seat of British power in Ireland for 800 years. Now it is to be the latest venue for talks that hope to reconcile differences that go back many centuries. But today's agenda must be dominated by the issue of Sinn Féin's continued involvement in these talks. Will they be expelled from the conference hall? And if they are, what will they do? I don't know what we will do if we are put out. I'm very angry that we have to deal 